Hello, I'm Sharon, and I'm here today with Jeremy Short, lead author on a new graphic novel series for management courses from Flat World Knowledge. The first one, titled Atlas Black, Managing to Succeed, and the second part, Atlas Black, Management Guru. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Sharon. How are you doing today? I am great, and thank you for joining us, um, and thank you for your willingness to talk with our listeners about your graphic novel and um, how it fits into the management curriculum. So let's let's start with that. Um, what made you write or want to write a graphic novel for the management curriculum? Well, I've taught uh, various different management classes for over a decade now, and one of the things I noticed on my teacher ratings were was that it was always lowest on sort of whatever materials were used. There's usually one item on your evaluation that looks at quality of materials of the book you selected, and for some reason that was always coming out a little bit lower than everything else. So I think part of it was just to have a better teaching tool that was more accessible for today's students, and I think that's really what started the ball rolling. And you know what, that's actually a great lead into my, to my other question here, which says, what kind of impact do you believe the graphic novel can have on the classroom and the students in it? Well, I think the impact has been, you know, a lot of students, they tend to really enjoy talking about business and the story of business. And if you think a lot of popular TV shows and movies like Office Space and The Office and many different series like that, it's exciting and it's interesting stuff to talk about what's going on in business on a day-to-day basis. But there's often been, I think, a disconnect with textbooks. And part of that is that a lot of times there's this thirst to put in very cutting-edge material about different companies but sometimes that's just a little bit of information overload. But most students, as you know, and most individuals, all of us, we're pretty good at memorizing movies down to the individual lines. So if we can put those management concepts into a story format, that's really what I think is going to be the, the great impact of this. So it's going to help for visual learners, but it's also going to help just as a story to apply that material. So instead of having a lot of different, sometimes disconnected examples, you have one rolling example of these characters working through key management concepts. Now that's that's brilliant, and it and it makes complete sense. And and speaking of characters, can you tell us a little bit about Atlas Black? Well, I think Atlas is like a, a lot of college students about to graduate. Certainly, like I was, I really had no idea what I was going to do, what kind of business. I was scared to death of what I might do, and I didn't really have a great vision of what actual jobs were out there. We do, I think, as educators, a good job of covering management concepts, but overall at the university system we do a relatively poor job of helping people understand careers and what a day-to-day job would look like. So Atlas is struggling with that, almost like uh, the old movie The Graduate. How is he going to find himself in this world? And like many students today, and I, you know, I was in this mold as well, not necessarily excited about many of the big corporate jobs that are out there. So what Atlas is thinking about doing and what he explores is how he can start his own business. No, that's 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 great. So, what do you, what's your favorite part of the of the story, or your favorite part of of the book? Well, wow, that's a difficult because I think there's so much of me in in the book. Uh, I think there's a, a couple of things that come to mind. One is that some of the management history that we have in the first chapter, because as there's been just such a proliferation of pop management books out there over the last hundred years. So many of those concepts can be tied back to Frederick Taylor and management history concepts that are 50 years or even 100 years old. So by getting to some of the root of those ideas, I think it helps students at all different levels, whether it's undergrad or MBA students, kind of see that there's really not that much new under the sun in terms of pop management concepts that might take them away from some of the key business theories and frameworks that have been more time tested. So I like that material. Uh, I really like the idea of some of the material we have about decision biases because it's relevant to both the, what we tend to think of as the micro areas of management, organizational behavior, but it's also relevant to strategic decision making and strategic management. I think part of what I like just kind of in general is that there's not this strong delineation between strategic management or organizational behavior or entrepreneurship concepts. Because in reality, when you start a business, you have to deal with all of that, and you have to deal with all of that at once. And that's kind of what Atlas has to deal with as he's working to start his own business. You know, it's great. I, I, I can only, I, I only wish I would have had an opportunity to learn management with a graphic novel. I think the concept is, is fantastic. I think students are going to embrace it, and it just adds an element to the course that isn't already present. And, um, and of course, you know how excited we are to have 
the book here at Flat World Knowledge. And you know, you could have published this with other publishers. What made you choose to publish this with Flat World? Well, I think there were several different reasons. One reason, I think there was a feeling with Jeff and Eric that they have this same exact excitement of starting a new venture and starting their own business. And so there's a certain energy that we have in the book that very much parallels startups. And it's very exciting, but it's also kind of scary and it's frustrating. And any silver bullet could knock down your website for a day or a week or any minor problem you always have to be on the lookout for. So it's kind of that excitement and fear and tension was one part. Another key part is just simply knowing that they weren't going to micromanage the book. That was one worry with a lot of traditional publishers, that they might come in and rewrite the characters. They might be very picky or finicky about what kind of content goes into the book. Uh, that was, so that was a key issue. Another key issue is the Smart World Knowledge strategy of low-cost pricing. So it's something that's very important where I am currently at my institution, that we try to keep textbook costs down. So pricing this at an affordable cost, was another pretty key issue that we looked at. Jeremy, will you talk our listeners through the different ways they could use your graphic novel in their management courses? Sure. Well, I think there's three kind of main ways you might use it. The first is a replacement for traditional text, especially maybe in a principles of management class, but maybe even a strategic management or entrepreneurship class. So it could replace a traditional text, especially in kind of a condensed course, which is becoming a lot more popular. The second is it could become sort of a supplement to an existing text, a supplement to organizational behavior or strategic management type book. And the third is just sort of a book for people that are interested in learning more about business, kind of almost like a, a, a book you might see at a traditional bookstore. And some of the feedback we've had, we've had entrepreneurs and small business owners look at it, and that's one group that's been especially kind of energized about reading the material and seeing the instant applications. So I see any of those three ways of being pretty strong possibilities. Well, that's great. And, and I want to thank you uh, for your time today. And, uh, of course, thank you for your dedication to your discipline and to this book and to your students. And um, thank you for, for talking with us today. Well, thank you so much. It's been a thrill and a pleasure. Bye now.